Hi, hello there. I have come to the realization that I am just yapping about books on here and no one knows who I am unless they know me in real life. So I just want to do a bit of an introduction. Uh, first of all, I'm Serena and I'm gonna do the booktube newbie tag just because I feel like it's nice and easy, lets me yap, but with a bit of guidance. So I will get right into it. The first question is, why did you start this channel? And if you look on my YouTube channel, all the videos I've posted, I have posted inconsistently for years now. I vlogged a Disney trip I took in January of 2020. And then between 2021 and now, I've gone through waves of posting book content. And I've just decided that I want to take it seriously. You know, I want to have motivation to read. I want to have a creative outlet. I just want something, I don't know, I guess something to do. Every time I've picked this channel up, it's because I was feeling lost or I was losing motivation to read or I just wanted to talk about the things I was reading and I didn't have a place to do that. So I guess just to sum it up, it's to have an outlet to talk about the books I love and to kind of like keep me on track, give me something to do, give me a hobby. Next question is what are some fun and unique things I think I can bring to booktube? And oh, I don't know, I feel like it's so hard to talk about myself in this way. Uh, I just, I'm really passionate about this. I have a lot to say. I love romance novels. I know my niche. And yeah, I just think, you know, I'm here to talk about it and hopefully people will want to listen. Uh, I'm also a book publishing student currently. I've gone back to school to work in the publishing industry. I don't know exactly what I want to do. Um, probably editing, agenting, or marketing is what's looking the most exciting, but I'd also like to write stuff myself one day. So once I'm working in the industry, I'd love to share insight into that. I just think it would be a lot of fun to, you know, have that career and talk about it and be able to have, again, an outlet to express my feelings and stuff on all that. Okay, the next question is, what are you most excited about for this channel? And I think other than the motivation to read, I think maybe pushing myself out of my comfort zone with what I'm reading. I love videos where people are just reading something like totally outside their comfort zone, something really weird something really off the rails and they're challenging themselves because they want to write a review about it so i'm really looking forward to doing that just discovering kind of kind of weird things i'm looking forward to hopefully sharing books that other people will read and enjoy because i feel like that's so fulfilling and gratifying when you talk about something you love and people come back and say oh this really impacted me i love this too so yeah, I think stepping out of my comfort zone and sharing the things that have changed my life and hoping it impacts someone else. Why do you love reading? Okay, this is probably the hardest question because there's so many answers. I mean, of course, like ever since I learned how to read, I feel like I've never been able to put a book down. I think that reading and books are honestly, they're, they're a safe space for so many people, myself included. If you're if you're going through something in real life or if you're mind-numbingly bored, it's just such an easy way to throw yourself into something. I just love storytelling. I think it's amazing that authors can come up with these characters and worlds and storylines that I could have never thought up in my wildest dreams. And it's just a beautiful insight into into other people. And you can learn so much from books. You can also just read some nonsense fluff to to occupy your time at the beach or something. I just think there is so much to be discovered and found from books. And I always, some people aren't big readers and I am always such a proponent of give something a try. Find an audiobook, see if an ebook fits you better. Try nonfiction if you've never liked fiction because I really think that everyone can find something valuable out of reading. And oh, I'm getting so like mushy. Why am I like this? This is possibly embarrassing. You know what? No, it's, it's not. It's a sign of the times. But the book that got me into reading or the series rather, other than like picture books and Geronimo Stilton, those were huge. It, I'm pretty sure it is The Click or The Clique series by Lisey Harrison. I devoured those and there's so many of them and I just couldn't get enough of them. It was just so different from anything I feel like I knew I was ever gonna 
experience as a teenager, like just so wealthy, all this drama, they were so fashionable. I was just so fascinated by it. It was truly my obsession. And then I feel like, you know, the Twilight series comes, Harry Potter comes, The Hunger Games comes, all these really formative series all just kind of fell into line. But the Clique series has to be, it's number one, it's a classic. The next question is really broad and it's what would you ask your favorite booktubers? And I have a lot, you know, there's different questions I would want to ask all of them. But the first thing that jumped to mind was I would love to know about their favorite things outside of books like what movies and tv shows what singers do they like what is their favorite taylor swift era like i would just like to know more about them and see how that correlates to their taste in books i just i think art in media is so so beautiful it's such a nice way to get to know people and connect in this in this life so yeah i think i would just like to know about their their other taste and things i'll be honest i copy and pasted these questions but didn't read them all the way down so this next one took me by surprise it is what challenges do you think having a youtube channel are going to be tough for you to overcome i'm paraphrasing there but that's the gist of it and i don't know i think being consistent, especially I'm in full-time school right now. I have assignments due almost every day. So it's really intense. And I think not even just like having the consistency to film a video, being consistent about reading so I have things to talk about, I think might be something I need to try to overcome. But you know, reading's fun. It's not, it's not a chore, it's not a job um to me so i do think that you know it's possible to overcome it but i think just the time management might might take me a while to wrap my head around and hopefully hopefully it works out next question is when did you start reading and i considered calling my mom to get a solid answer but i don't know if she would know uh, i definitely started reading really early i remember i was in all the advanced reader groups in school so I'm just gonna venture to say early. A lot of my early memories involve books, reading, libraries. I remember when I was on the plane to Disney World for the first time having books and reading books on the plane. So yeah, I was reading pretty young, reading independently pretty young, and that's all I'm good for. So next question is where do you read? And I read almost exclusively in my bed or on public transit. Uh, I've been into audiobooks lately and I'll listen to those wherever possible. I feel like it's always when I'm doing laundry, I always have an audiobook on. But yeah, actual physical reading. I like to read outside sometimes, but I get distracted pretty easily. I really struggle to read in other places in my house. Like if my mom is on the couch reading her book, I, I don't know why it's hard for me to sit next to her and also read. I think both of us being in the same, this is so weird, but both of us being in the same room and the silence, I feel like it just, my brain starts to short circuit. I don't even know where I'm going with that, so I digress. I will say that having an e-reader has changed the game for reading in bed because I don't have a lamp on my nightstand and I don't know where my book light is. So I can't read a physical book if I'm already like settled in bed with the light off for the night. But an e-reader, obviously the screen is bright. And yeah, I can lie down and read without having to like not really be able to turn the pages properly. And I feel like that's peak laziness. But if you, if you struggle to read in bed because you don't like not being able to lie on your side, you know what I mean. And there was a period of time where I read a couple books on my phone and my eyes were burning. It was terrible. So having an e-reader, I also find it so much easier to just take it everywhere. If I'm in a waiting room somewhere or if there's a really long line at the store, I can just pull out the ebook and it's super, it's super easy. But yeah, bed, TTC, go train. Those are my, those are my spots. Okay. And the last question is what kind of books do you like to read? And I'm a bit all over the place. My top genre 
are those contemporary romantic comedy novels like Emily Henry is my girl. I also like Tessa Bailey, Carly Fortune. Also, I really like just kind of general fiction. You know, if the plot is enticing, I'll give it a go. I like a good memoir or like um, a selection of kind of comedic essays are always good. Uh, I've read a lot of thrillers. I love Lucy Foley's books. I'm trying to think of what else that might be. That might be my top genres there. I want to get into horror because the horror books I've read, I've always liked. I like some horror movies. So I don't know. I think that'll be my October goal. Just branch out a little bit. But I don't want anything too crazy and too messed up. So I need to, it's a fine line and I need to do my research on that. So yeah, that's me, my bookish booktube reading thoughts. I hope you got to know me a bit better and I didn't go on and ramble for too long, but knowing me, I probably did. Thank you so much. Feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.